What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a video and show you or do a reveal on a bag that I've been after for probably 10 years now. If you've seen my 2023 wishlist video, which is one of my earlier videos and I'm a little bit awkward on camera, I still am. But um, anyway, in that video, I had said that one of the things that I've been really wanting was an Alma BB specifically in the vernis leather in the amaranth color. And I just didn't know if I could get it because it's never on the website. The Alma BB, of course, is on the website, but the amaranth is never on the website. I know that they sell it in Europe though because I've seen it on the European website or at least the UK website because I stock that sometimes, but it's just never been on any of the North American websites. So I didn't know if I could get it. Somehow I was able to get in touch with an SA and she was able to locate it for me and she was even surprised because she has not seen it in forever either. So I'm so excited to reveal to you. I'm like back into Louis Vuitton. I have not been into Louis Vuitton in like what seems like quite a long time. Anyway, let me just show you what this is. So this is the Alma BB. Um, oh, yeah, this is the front. This is the Alma BB. This is an iconic and classic uh, bag from Louis Vuitton, obviously offered in the classic monogram, the Damier Bin, and even I think the Damier Azur and a bunch of other um, variations and leathers. But the one I wanted was the vernis and it had to be in this color of amaranth i just love it so much it is so beautiful so shiny it's the perfect size it's the bb size i've seen um i've seen on like review videos of the pm and even the mm and they just seemed too big and a little too clunky especially for a top handle i like the versatility of this one because this comes with a strap a crossbody strap so i love that but look look at this oh my goodness i freaking love this so much the shine on this it's got feet it's got shiny hardware it's just the way that it reflects in the sun. It is so, so good. And just everything about this I love so much. I, I'm just speechless. And so I've been hyping myself up. I don't know if anyone else does this, but like when you know you're gonna get a bag because you're expecting it in the mail and it's en route, or you are contemplating a bag and you've been thinking about it for so, so long, you start binge watching review videos on YouTube to, I don't know, like psych yourself up or something. And that's kind of what I was doing. Actually, my favorite person to watch on YouTube for handbags is Emma Anders. I just love her self-deprecation and just her humor. And um, I feel like we could just be friends in real life, but she does, she has a review on this. She has the PM size. She also, I love watching her handbag collection videos because they're just so relaxing. <laughs> and so I, one of the things that she said, and I think her handbag collection video or something was, she just loves to look at it. And like, she'll walk by when she's wearing this out, out and about and she'll just see it in a reflection somewhere and she'll just stop and like <laughs> admire it. And I can totally understand that. It's just such a beautiful bag. It's so eye-catching. It's classic. It's got the monogram, but it's not like over the top. It's very subtle because of the embossed uh, logos. The color is so like, it's like a chameleon, right? It looks, it's kind of maroon. In some lights, it looks kind of eggplanty. In some lights, it can even look black. In some lights, it's just this like purple tinge. It's, it's just so, um, such an interesting color that I just love so much. And 
you know, to a very plain outfit. It just adds that subtle pop of something special. And I just love this. I cannot, I cannot stop obsessing over this. It's one of those bags where you see it on your shelf and you just look at it and you're like, what a beautiful bag. <laughs> it's just so beautiful in my opinion. I just love it so much. And it comes with the crossbody strap, which I love. It's not adjustable, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't know how you would adjust this and not make it look ugly because if you did like the classic belt buckles, I feel like it would kind of detract from its sleekness. Uh, so I can understand why, but it's not a terrible length for me at 5'2", and I can show you how it looks on my frame. This comes with a, that's my receipt. This comes with um, a lock and key, which I don't know if I'm going to put the lock on because I don't think I would ever lock it. So it's just another kind of thing. I think you put it on the zipper pulls. And so when you zip them up, when you zip it, you can lock it. Realistically, who actually uses that and locks it. Um, it is pretty. It has the LV logo. And then it says Louis Vuitton. Um, so I don't know if I would use that. And the keys are inside. I think this is like the clochette. So, and there's two keys. I don't think I would ever use this. So I don't really see a point in having it on the bag, so I'll probably just keep that aside and just uh, leave the keys where they are because knowing me, I would misplace them. Um, this is the ribbon. So when I store it, this is kind of what I do to the Lady Dior too. When I store it on my shelf, I tie a ribbon on it and I just let it do this because I like to, um, aesthetically it looks prettier with the handles up because sometimes they can fall. And it also cleverly comes with a cloth because this vernis is notorious for um, fingerprints and dust. As a matter of fact, when it came out of this dust bag, it was just, and you took a picture of it, it was just covered in uh, lint. So you just do this to wipe off the lint or fingerprints. And the funny thing about what Emma Anders said in one of her videos was she was like, you know, she likes to fuss over her handbags and she likes to, you know, she has no problem just sitting in her room, just, just buffing, <laughs> buffing out her bag if she wanted to. And I completely agree. Like there's just something satisfying about looking after your bags that you love so much that are so beautiful and like this is kind of fun i don't know maybe the novelty will wear off but i don't know if this is an old lady bag i don't really care if it's an old lady bag um because you can make anything work uh for your style as long as you style it the right way right so i just uh I love this bag so much. You know what? I've always imagined if I had this bag that I would dress it up with the bag charm. And I decided on what I think is called the Spring Street bag charm. It came packaged really nicely. Um, I just, is it over the top? Maybe, I don't know but I kind of love it. I, I feel like if there's any bag you can dress up, it's gonna be this Alma and Vernie and Amarant. It just looks spectacular. So I'm gonna put it on. So this is what it looks like with the bag charm. And wouldn't you say it just adds another layer of spectacularness? <laughs> I mean, this is, I love it so much. Like if, if I'm going to get the Alma BB in the Verni, in the Amarant, I had to do the bag charm. It just, there was no question about it because it really dresses it up. It really 
makes it look special, a little bit blingy, a little bit more fun. And oh, I just love it so much. It's so good. It is so good. Can we just, just look at it and admire its beauty, the shine, the reflection, how the color changes depending on the light and the angle. Am I being weird? I'm sorry. <laughs> But this is such a good one. I have, I've been a patient person. I've been so patient. I will say, because I had been hunting this more actively in the last few years, um, I had been looking on the pre-loved market. So I had been looking on Fashion File and a bunch of other websites, um, or in, even on eBay, Vestier Collective. I even made an offer on one. And it's just so hard to look online for in particular patent leather bags because of the reflection you can't tell if it's a scratch or you can't tell if it's just a reflection um, also vernis like leather or any kind of patent leather is just so hard to if you just don't know how people have taken care of it and so you don't know how much shine there actually is to it in real life so I didn't want to have to deal with like the back and forth of a return process just to essentially look at the bag to see if it was up to snuff. I did make an offer with someone on Vestiaire Collective. I made an offer below what they were asking and then they countered and then I was just like, you know what, I'm not really sure that I want to take the risk anyway. So I uh, did not accept their counter. I've looked on eBay and I've seen some in really good condition based on what they graded it as but I still wasn't 100% comfortable because it was so hard to tell how much shine it had on the pictures and again I just wasn't willing to take the risk. For this kind of leather I feel like it's more of a risk if you go through the pre-loved market without seeing it in person. It's one thing if you can see it in person. So this is it. This is her. This is she. She is beautiful. I am so happy. Um, I will put her on and show what it looks against my body frame and height. So this is her on my wrist. Sorry, this mic cable is in the way. But this is her handheld, shining shine bright like a diamond love her and i'm 5'2 this is um quite a loose top but this is how she looks on me crossbody so my hips are here which is hard to tell with this baggy sweater but my hips are here the handles come basically right into my hips, but because it's not a stiff, I mean it's stiff, but it's, it's still movable. And it does not bother me, it's still very comfortable. And so if I need to be hands-free, then I totally can. And she's gorgeous, I love her so much. So now let's see how much she fits into here because I've never actually seen how much fits in an Alma BB. Okay, so this is the bag empty. I'm gonna put in my standard long but thin, but I would say medium size wallet. It's kind of decent size. In here, I am going to put my Bottega Veneta key pouch, which is also quite big and clunky. I'm gonna put in a key pouch. Also quite heavy. And a little thing of tissues. A thing of Tic Tacs. And she, quits, she uh, fits quite a lot. I would not fill it up anymore because it tapers at the top and I don't want the zipper to go wonky. So I'm gonna see how she looks like this. 
it's not any heavier than any other bag to be honest actually this bag on its own is super light i was very surprised at how light it actually is or it felt obviously it's not a tote bag so it's not going to fit the same amount as a tote but i'm quite happy with this anyway that is my new purchase that i am so in love with and i can look at i can literally just stare at her all day you know what louis vuitton got the color right and i know this is not a new color it's been around forever but i hope they never discontinue this color because it's such a classic beautiful color that you don't see everywhere and anywhere like this has been almost 10 years i want to say of me wanting this bag and just never really going after it and even with the bag charm it's just everything she's so pretty i don't mind the fingerprints i don't mind the dust she will go with me daytime and nighttime she's not just going to be reserved for an evening bag um, she needs to go out and she needs to see the world maybe not quite the world i'll never travel with her Anyway, thank you so much for um, allowing me to indulge myself in swooning after this bag. I am so thrilled with it and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then maybe consider binge watching some of my other videos and I will see you next time. Bye.